Welcome back to Good Day and welcome to Canada. Well, if not for the War of 1812, this piece of land would belong to our neighbors to the north. And you can visit a huge piece of local and national history right here in Northwest Ohio. John Thompson is the head of interpretation at Fort Meigs in Perrysburg with an invitation to this weekend's Grand Encampment. Good morning, John. Thanks for joining us. Good morning, Amanda. Nice to talk to you again. Yeah, so this is a big deal coming up this weekend. We know that you have done reenactments in the past at Fort Meigs, but this is a, a whole other level. Yes, this is the Grand Encampment, and specifically this weekend, we're looking at the American Revolution, which uh, is fought uh, in Ohio here, and it has tremendous ties to the War of 1812 and Fort Meigs specifically. But yes, the Grand Encampment, this is uh, something that's only held uh, once every five years in our nation. This is the first time Fort Meigs has been honored uh, being asked to host this event. So we are so pleased to be able to bring this to our audience uh, throughout the Great Lakes. Uh, to come see a show of this magnitude uh, of military history uh, celebration and uh, getting ready to, to celebrate independence all over again. Yeah, so you said this, is, this only happens, this particular event only happens every five years, and this is the first time Fort Meigs has hosted this. So uh, talk a little bit about what exactly that means. Uh, well, it means that uh, our area is being recognized as uh, truly special and that we have things to offer that no place else uh, in the country has. And Fort Meigs is a perfect example of that. Uh, so much space out here, a wonderfully reconstructed frontier fort. Uh, it's, it's an opportunity that uh, not a lot of uh, different groups and peoples uh, have to experience uh, something this large. And so we're being recognized as great hosts here in Northwest Ohio. and. Uh, a community that is thirsty and hungry for good history and good history events. So this is all day tomorrow, all day Sunday. Talk us through what people can expect when they come out. Uh, it is uh, all day, Saturday and Sunday. We're open from 9.30 until 5, and there will be programming absolutely all day uh, through, through those hours. <clears throat> Um, but uh, the, in terms of uh, the programming, there will be uh, horses, there will be, of course, artillery demonstrations, the great battles. There's something for everybody here. We have an entire uh, city uh, laid out just for merchants. Uh, so these are historical merchants who are out here uh, to sell to the public. You can get anything from, um, from toys, uh, historical toys, to a cup of coffee, to fabulous uh, silks and fabrics and things like that. Uh, there is basic going on, historic cooking going on. Uh, so the demonstrations just uh, continue, continue throughout the day. Different things. Uh, there's a duel and a whole lecture on the, the history of dueling at this time. And you won't be able to see a battle recreation like you're going to see this weekend. Uh, with 400 troops engaged uh, and artillery and horses going at it, uh, this will be a spectacular uh, something to see. So, so we're inviting everyone to come out. Go ahead. We just don't want anyone. We just don't want anyone to miss out on this opportunity. Uh, who uh, who is able to see it? Uh, this is just uh, so one of a kind that we need to make sure that everyone knows about it. Everyone comes out to see it and uh, celebrate with us uh, this tremendous honor. Yeah. So let's talk a little bit about the history of this. You know, why is it so important that you know we now in 2024 you know have a handle on what happened you know back in the early 1800s? Yeah, um, well, uh, as, a, as an entire nation, it's 2024, we are building up towards our great 250 year anniversary of uh, declaring independence. And there's a, a lot of focus now being uh, redirected at that revolutionary generation. And so this uh, American Revolution reenactment that we're doing here is all part of that festivity. It's all part of this great buildup, the crescendo that's leading towards our 250 year uh, celebration. Uh, it's important uh, because uh, Northwest Ohio and Ohio, the Great Lakes, all of this is so crucial to our, our, our own history, American history, and it often uh, gets overlooked. And so this is an opportunity uh, to really focus on Ohio and the events that took place in Ohio during the revolution, those events that uh, uh, helped the United States step towards uh, independence and self-sovereignty. So. Uh, we should celebrate, and mm -hmm. Fort Meigs is a perfect gem here in Northwest Ohio uh, uh, to focus uh, these efforts. 
Yeah, an easy place to get to, you know, uh, and no matter where you live really here in the region. So uh, what time does everything get started tomorrow and how do people go about uh, getting tickets? So you just kind of pay at the door. Yep, you can uh, just stop on by. Your uh, tickets uh, are good all day, so you can leave our campus if you want. We will have an enormous food court set up, uh, food trucks and a picnic area, so you can take a break for lunch or a snack and come back to the action here. So 9.30 to 5, uh, both Saturday and Sunday, special hours, uh, extended hours on Sunday, and uh, you'll be able to see whatever you'd like. There is something truly for everyone here and programming throughout the day. Yeah, so and come on by and, and see us. Ryan promised some really great weather, so that's that's perfect. And this is just a great opportunity if you haven't been to Fort Meigs yet. You've got kiddos too. This is a, a great family activity that you all can do together this weekend. John, thank you so much for joining us today. We appreciate it. Thank you very much, Amanda. Yep, take care. Well, coming up next on Toledo's Most Local 9 a.m. show, he's not Fred Astaire, but Dan Cummins puts on his dance skins and takes a shot at ballroom dancing and more in this week's Try This. Good Day is back in a moment.